Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will talk about linear inequalities in two variables. For the first part of the video, tuturuan ko kayong paano ma-identify whether the given mathematical sentence is an example of linear inequality or not. And for the last part of the video, tuturuan ko rin kayo kung paano mag-graph ng linear inequalities in two variables. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically, we have here x plus 3y is greater than 6. This one is an example of linear inequalities in two variables. So basic basic thing na makita nyo is that meron tayong dalawang variables. And then, the most important thing about this, para masabi natin siya isang linear inequality in two variables, is that gumagamit siya ng symbol na, na inequality. So ano yung mga possible symbols na ma-encounter natin? So you can encounter this symbol, your greater than symbol, your less than symbol, your greater than or equal to symbol, and your less than or equal to symbol. So kapag na-meet nga yung criteria natin na meron siyang dalawang variables, and magamit siya ng either greater than, less than, greater than or equal, or less than or equal, automatic, that is an example of linear inequalities in two variables. So for you to be familiarized, Bibigyan ko rin ng examples ng mga ito. So example, we have 3x minus y is greater than or equal to negative 11. Definitely, this one is an example of linear inequalities in two variables. Ano yung reason? Meron siyang dalawang variables. At the same time, meron tayong ginamit na symbol ng inequality which is greater than or equal. And I will give you another example. Let's have y is less than negative 5 plus 2x. This one is also an example of linear inequalities in two variables. Ano yung dahilan, sir? Uh, though wala siya sa maayos na form, still, pero siya dalawang variable. We have dx and y. And gumagamit siya ng symbol na less than. So ito yung examples ng linear inequalities in two variables. Sir, bigyan, bigyan kami ng example naman ng mga hindi kasama sa linear inequalities in variables. Let's try x plus 2y is equal to negative 1. Ito ay hindi example ng linear inequalities in variables. Ano yung reason? Though meron siyang dalawang variables, wala tayong ginamit na symbol for inequality. Ang meron tayo ay equal symbol. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya example ng linear inequalities in variables. Now, for this part of the video, I will teach you how to graph linear inequalities in two variables. So basically, we'll be, we will be using x plus 3y is greater than 6. So ano ba yung ginagawa natin on how to graph this? Unang gagawin natin dito is we need to convert this into linear equation. So all we need to do is to change the symbol into equal sign. So it will become x plus 3y is equal to 6. Then right after that, all you need to do is to convert this into slope-intercept form. Following the pattern, y is equal to mx plus b. So, ang gagawin natin dito is that you need to transpose the x term to the other side of the equation. So, transpose natin dito, it will become 3y is equal to negative x plus 6. And don't forget, na kapag transpose ka ng term, sa kabilang side ng equation, lagi mo babagoy yung sign ito. And then right after that, you will be dividing the whole equation by 3 for us to have the variable y. Cancel natin. So you have here y is equal to negative x over 3. And then simplifying your 6 over 3, it will become plus 2. So as you can see, meron na tayo ngayon yung slope interest of 4. So ano yung purpose ito? Ang purpose ito is for us to get your slope and the y-intercept. Kasi basically, sila yung mga kailangan natin para may graph natin sila sa Cartesian plane. So ang slope natin dito is that you have negative 1 over 3. And then for the y-intercept, the y-intercept of this is 2. At knowing that this one is your y-intercept, Alam natin na coordinates ng yung y-intercept is 0, 2. Yan. 
Since meron tayong slope and y-intercept, pwede na tayo ngayon to graph this linear inequality. So, paano ba sinisimulan niyan? Gamitin muna natin yung ating y-intercept na 0, 2. So, syempre, yung graph niyan is along the y-axis. So, from 0, mag-count ka lang ng 1 and 2. This is your first point or this is your y-intercept. And for us to locate the second point is that we will be using your slope negative 1 over 3. Gamit yung rise over run. So, gawin natin dito, since yung ating rise is 1, again, eh, your slope is m is equal to negative 1 over 3. Yung rise natin is 1. So, gagawin natin yung slope count tayo ng 1 unit, 1. 1 unit. From this y-intercept, 1 unit. And then, kung kapansin nyo, yung ating run is negative 3. So, from this point, mag-count tayo ng 3 units. 1, 2, and 3. Ito ngayon yung second point natin. Okay? Ito yung second point natin. Now, ang tanong dito, Sir, are we gonna use a broken line or a solid line? Kasi diba kapag linear inequality, ang graph kasi nito ay hindi naman straight line. Ay hindi siya yung, yung laging solid line. Kasi nga, yung solid line is for linear equation. Dito kasi, when you're, when you're dealing with linear inequalities in two variables, ang kanyang graph or ang, line, ang mga possible lines sa may encounter mo, it's either a solid line or a broken line. Sir, ano yung magiging, ano natin, magiging way natin para malaman natin if we will be using a solid line or a broken line? Puntahan mo ngayon yung original symbol na naroon ka. Yung given natin, this one is using a greater than symbol. Since wala siyang bar line, let's for example, ito. Since gumamit siya ng, less, ng greater than symbol, automatic, we will be using broken line. Again, broken line. Eh, sir, paano naman, paano naman po kapag, ano, kapag solid line? Paano natin gagamitin yung solid line? Nagamit ng solid line if the symbol is greater than or equal or less than or equal kapag mayroon siyang bar line. At yung magkakaiba nila. Since wala itong bar line, ang gagamitin natin ay less than or equal to symbol. So, mag-draw ka dito ng broken lines. Broken lines, mga ba? Yan. So, as you can see, yung mismong graph data or condition plane natin is divided into two. Pero, hindi pa tayo tapos. Kasi, kailangan natin malaman kung saan ang part ba siya ng partition plate ng line natin. Kung sa taas or sa baba. Kasi ano yun eh, uh, kapag linear inequalities, napakaraming possible solution. So, so paano natin malaman kung saan yung shaded part? Sa taas ba o sa baba? Puntahan nyo yung symbol na ginagamit ito. Since the symbol present in our given linear inequality is greater than, ang merong shaded part ay yung above part ng equation or ng ating line. So, ganito yung magiging itsura niyan. This is the graph. Okay? So, yung shaded part ay yung upper part ng ating line. So, as you can see, ito na ngayon yung mismo graph ng ating x plus 3y is greater than 6. Again, reminder lang ha, kaya tayo gumamit ng broken line is that yung ating symbol ay greater than hindi wala siyang bar sa ilalim. And another thing na masabi natin dito is that yung ating mismong graph ay pataas because yung ating symbol is greater than. Pero kung yan ay less than, automatic yung ating graph ay, or yung ating shaded part ay yung lower part ng inyong line. So you hope na natutunan nyo yung ways on how to graph a linear inequality in two variables. So again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button para update ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!